All right, it's time, everyone, for test match number three against New Zealand. Man, we, were, we weren't terrible last test match. Actually, yeah, we were. We were pretty bad. Uh, we made, like, 50-something runs. Our average... Uh, we've lost the series already, um, and our average is pretty woeful. So, in terms of uh, throughout the series, our average is, like, 19. So, regardless of what our all-time average is, our average for the series is only 19, which is not good enough. Um, even though I think I'm averaging like 36 or something around that mark. So, what do we got? 35.41 average. And we need to come in and we need to do something. I mean, we're batting first, which is something different that uh, Australia hasn't done for a while. And I've got a face bloody Vittori who got me out last time but there's some nice cracks on this pitch I do not mind that at all because that means that there is going to be a little bit of interesting things going on later on in the innings especially when I want to get um, maybe some some wickets uh, if I get a chance to bowl I should be able to use those cracks to my advantage and uh, take out you know whatever I can uh, by just getting a little bit of movement nip each way it just depends where they decide to let me bowl I guess the timing was terrible it was so early but that's the whole point of early in the innings is you've got to get your bearings get your timing you can't just be silly about these things like that, that looks like Warner at the other end yeah it is you could just tell too straight Ugh, there's a man covering that shot I don't like it no. If you don't know how to do that, by the way, if you don't know how to dance down and then block it, it's um, advanced, so you hold R1, and then you actually push the right stick backwards. Oh, I almost timed that really terribly and got myself out. Should trouble me with pure pace, eh? Oh, a little bit of an outside edge, but I think I played that mostly pretty well through the offside. Nice little opening of the blade. As you can uh, probably see on the replay coming up here, just open the blade slightly. Allows the ball to trickle through to the, the boundary. Not a bad over for myself, though. About 10 off it. And there hasn't been too many risks, and that one's going to be 4. So 14 off that over. No real risk involved. So if that, if that happens, that's my... Controller having a nice little spazzing out because that's not actually me doing that Yeah, see that was that was fine to hit there because there it was too full it was like Full toss so if it was a Yorker length or even a, like just a half volley length and then you risk the drive getting you out in that instance Oh, <laughs> Bottom edge into the ground saves us. Oh, that one's over the other side. That's further, finer, actually. And that's the 50 partnership with another boundary there. So this is 53 from 44. Warner looks pretty happy. Oh, see, that's a real problem. If they leave that sort of mid-on gap open and he's coming around the wicket, it really forces me to hit there because, like... And that's really annoying because I know I'm probably going to edge it too. So this is still bolt. Left armour over the wicket. It's a good shot. Not going to get to the rope, even though I thought it would have done so pretty easily. Anyway, it's just a two. Oh. That's a better shot. That's four, I believe. Yep. I don't hit the rope. No need to run. Just sort of placing it in the, the right areas right now. This is a, this is a good follow-on from our 45 last innings. If we can just continue it for a little bit longer, we can certainly push ourselves, uh, you know, uh, or at least get Australia some credibility back. We, we already lost the series because we're down 2-0. We'd just like to win one of the, the next couple of games. Should be another single down there. I don't like him coming around the wicket like that. It's very, very annoying. 
because if I drive down the ground, it like forces me to drive, and if it clicks off the edge, you're just not bowling to your field, are you? What on earth are you doing? It's stuck on 49 for about three balls here. Oh, that's no footwork as well. Gee whiz, it's just that one run away from milestones. Kind of puts the pressure on, doesn't it? See how he's a dangerous bowler. That's well timed though. There's the 50. He's pretty happy about it too. Get around him. Holds up the bat. 53 runs. It's, I think my first 50 for the series. Considering I was averaging 19. And now, just forward of mid wicket there. We'll pick up just a single. Don't want to run too hard. Just got to be got to be very smart about how we play this. Um, over the last probably two, three test matches, I've just been sort of smart with my shot selection and not um, you know, taking too many risky drives or anything because I'm not super impressive with those drives. So, like, there is probably, you know, an area that's risky to hit to. I'll get a single out of it because that's good running. But otherwise, <laughs> still very risky. Bowling around the wicket now. Interesting play. Especially if you're going to bowl a shortish ball around the wicket. We'll pick up three, maybe? No. Warner was very slow, so no. It's been a good partnership to get us back in this. I think we've batted pretty smart. With Warner at the other end. That's going to be four, I think. Just to drive straight down the ground. No one really dare to stop it. The timing is much better than it was at the start of the inning. So... As you can see now, we check our confidence meter. We're playing with a lot of confidence. Their bowler, Trent Bolt, not that confident with how he's going. So, yes. And again, same spot, same shot, four runs again, same result. Oh, that's six, I reckon. That is just, he's playing with confidence now. Can just do whatever he pleases. 105 from 86 is the partnership. And there's still gaps, mate. Trent, that's not where you bowl it. You bowl it on the offside if you've got a field set for the offside. And we are racing now towards 176 from 45. Oh, that's the end of the session too. So that was the last ball of uh, session one, I think, on day one. So it's the end of session one um, on the first day, and we're three for one eighty-one. You'd think probably in the end we won the uh, we won the the that or like the the session. I think you say it's pretty even three wickets, um, but normally a session is like three wickets for maybe ninety a hundred runs per session. So to be on one hundred and eighty, uh, which is a run rate of more than six, we are definitely winning the day. It's like normally a score you'd see at the end of the second session. That's four. First ball back for me from the lunch break. And just hits a boundary. They've really got to sort out either their field or just the way they're bowling. That's a four as well. I'm just playing with absolute supreme confidence at the moment. Every shot is just going for four. Door six. Take your pick. It's a wide. And these bowlers are just stumped as to what to do. Nice little shot on the leg side there. And that's going to be four as well because the fact that we're playing with so much confidence just means that pretty much every shot... Look, we are maxed out confidence levels and very little fatigue. So everything is just going and hitting, being hit well. Like, again... This one, I thought was time probably better than the last one. It sounded a little bit crisper, but it's, just, uh, it's only going to be the two in the end. But seriously, we're into the 90s off 51 balls. We could actually get... What is it? 50, 56? Is that the fastest Test Match 100? Could we beat that? <gasps> Hang on. Let me have a look. Okay, so I'm looking at it now. The fastest Test Match 100 was Brendan McCullum in the last series of New Zealand and Australia. He got it in 54 balls. Now... We have 51. 
Oh. <laughs> it's six. Which means we need to get a boundary off the next delivery for the outright record. Meet on. Forward square leg, short fine leg. Alright, gotta be, gotta be a shot. Boundary! 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 Yes! <laughs> the fastest test match, 100 by one ball! 53 deliveries! Oh, eat that, McCullum. <laughs> oh, that's crazy good. Oh, that's crazy. Because I remember, yeah, 56 is what I had in my head, but uh, I just looked it up. McCullum was 54, and we got it in 53. Well done, Dean. That last one go for six. I thought it only went for four. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> oh, man. I'm excited now. We are actually on track to make 200. Like, I don't see where I'm going to make a mistake in this innings. This could easily be the biggest innings ever for me.